Hi everyone, I hope that you're as excited as I am about the new iDesign. The new iDesign has nearly four times the stuff that was in the previous version. And the previous version was such a big hit that I decided that I was going to add tons more stuff to it. And I finally finished it a few days ago and it's already available in the store. And basically this video is just going to be a tour. I'm not going to really teach you how to use it. There's other videos that teach you how to use iDesign and then I've got some other lessons planned and set aside for separate videos. In this video I'm just going to show you what is included and just real quickly how easy it is to tap and fill. Tap and fill, that's all you do with it. Okay, so let me go ahead and open up Keynote. Why am I opening up Keynote? Because iDesign is a presentation that you use inside of Keynote. So you have to have Keynote either installed on your Mac, your iPhone, or your iPad in order to use iDesign. So it works inside Keynote. The presentation is filled with tons of masks. Everything inside iDesign is a mask. So here we are inside iDesign. The new version is 14.2 and we got up to that number because there were so many tests and so many changes and so many additions. Let me show you the main addition and that would be to the templates. And as you can see, if I twirl this up, You've got the cover page, the iDesign cover page. Nothing has really changed there except we lightened up the font here um, in, in iDesign. And then if you hit the twirl down arrow, I've rearranged the templates and of course I've replaced the templates. They're a little uh, cleaner, cleaner looking, I guess you can say. They're, they're just a little more minimalistic and I've rearranged them. The first thing that you would do is start with a template. So I've actually put the templates first instead of last. Let me just twirl down and just flip through some of the templates that are included. And they're all color coded. The um, colors coincide with the size cards that are on top of the template. And basically all you do is tap on a card and fill it. And you can fill it with a picture that you're taking. You can fill it with something that is already inside your camera roll. You can also paste things onto your cards. And let me just flip through just a few more. And you can customize your templates. You can copy and paste these and put them on another board and in any combination that you want, your own custom combination. Of course, there's so many in here that I don't see why you would want to go through all that trouble. I've got in here nearly, uh, okay, let's see, there's 54. 54 boards or templates are included inside the new iDesign. Now let me twirl this back up so that I can show you the next tab would be elements. And inside the elements, we've got the clear plastic sleeves that were in the older version. They're a little, they're sized a little bit different now. They fit perfectly over the cards on the boards. We still have the spiral for creating your notebook. And we've got some journaling cards. And of course, the colors are just my selection of colors that just for me to color code the different sizes of cards. But these are not the colors that you would, you, you would tap and fill this with either uh, fabric, scrapbook paper, photos, just whatever you have in your photos on your iPad, you can fill these cards with. And then we've got some borders for the journaling cards. So basically you would either put a border on the left side, the right side, or on both sides. You can fill those with fabrics and then journal in between. And then we've got some symbols here. And I actually use these symbols. I copy and paste them over to my note taking app when I'm doing studies. Okay, let's twirl that back up. And then let's look at some of the shapes. 
I've added tons new shapes. We've got the basic ones that were included in the original version. And then let me just take you down to show you. Here's a few new ones here, and here's some new ones here. We've got some new ones here. And these are also done with the journaling cards. And then, of course, we've got all the masks for you to create your notebooks. And these are some pockets for your notebooks. We've got some envelopes. And uh, there's also still a palette section. I like to keep my favorite colors, and of course, I've turned, I've put a palette in for every color that's included with the new eye design. So basically, if I want to reuse one of these colors, I'll just press my on off switch and my home button and do a screenshot of this color, and then that way I can fill my cards with this color. And you can add to your palette library. These are just some few palette or a few colors to start you off. Oh, and by the way, uh, my palettes, I use a Palettes Pro is the app that I use to create my color palettes. And the reason that I like them is because see how I've got the RGB and the hex, all the information that I would need to have when I'm using my desktop client and doing some photo editing and scrapbooking on my desktop. Okay, and then also we've got the tabs, the extra tabs like in the original version. We've got tabs so that you can make separate or customize additional sections inside your iDesign. I almost renamed iDesign Key Life. If you are familiar with Project Life, Becky Higgins' um, system for journaling and for um, keeping keeping up with memories um, what I've done was I have made my own version which a lot of people have I think there's one website that has their version is pocket life and another one I've seen is daily life in fact I've even purchased from there and then my life I've seen that on the internet and it started out, Project Life started out as a traditional scrapbook or um, album type memory keeping system. And basically what you do is you do 52 pages in a year. You, every week you just drop your photos in these pockets. There's no cutting and gluing and snipping and 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 using glitter or anything like that. You just slip your photos and your journaling cards and all these really cute pattern cards in these pockets and it keeps up with your memories for that week. And you do 52 weeks. You do you just drop some photos in in your week as you go through your week. And so I was I thought that I would name this I design key life since it's done in keynote and it basically does use the same pocket life system basically all you do is tap and fill and it's so easy and it's so fast and the reason that I didn't change the name is because I already have a long list of customers that are already using I design and a lot of them are interior designers and they use these for their uh, their mood boards that they create for their clients. They put their furniture and their fabrics. And there's also one of the shapes in here is a fabric swatch. Let's see, there's the fabric swatch and paint chip cards. And so they use these to create their boards, their design boards for their clients. And they put the furniture and the lamps and the fabrics and the trims all on these boards. They do their journaling and, you know, their drawing and their, or um, uh, space planning um, photo of how they're going to rearrange their furniture or rearrange new, the new furniture and they put these all on the board and they're able to email them to their client. And so since I have so many of those customers that are using it that way, I didn't want to change the name right in the middle 
of of all of that. So, but I did I did want to call everyone's attention to it because these are so versatile. I mean, the you can do so much. Really, there's your imagination can take you very far here because there's so much included inside these presentations. These are basically all fillable masks. That's all that this is consists of is just fillable masks. Let me just show you real quick something that I did in, in less than 45 seconds basically. I just opened up one of the one of the templates and I tapped and filled it with a few pictures and I also grabbed some of the shapes, some of the elements and I did some texting because you can text inside uh, Keynote and this is fabric. I filled this card with fabric. This is a journaling card and then I filled some pictures and I still have a little bit more work to do but I just thought I would show you that really quick so that you could see the potential and let me show you my photo album and some of the photos that I have inside. Now this is my camera roll and here you can see the pictures and then some of the colored backgrounds and real quick I'll show you how easy it is to fill one of the cards. I don't want this to be a full-blown lesson. I wanted this to be a really quick video, but I do want to show you how easy it is. So let me go up and get a template first. I'll get this template. Now, this is my master eye design. So I don't want to start using any of the templates. I don't want to write over the template. So I'm going to make a copy. I make copies of everything and that's what I use. I use the copy, then I don't disturb the originals. So I'll just tap on this and copy it and you'll see it's going to paste and a duplicate right above it. And I'm going to take this duplicate and I'm going to hold it and I'm going to drag it down to the next section where the elements are and put it in here with the elements. And I actually want this, I want it at the top. And so let me get, let me get one of these journaling cards and I'll just copy that and paste it on, t oops, didn't want to do that. If you don't tap in a blank area, undo, then it will fill the card that you you activate. So let me go to a blank area and there I wanted to put that in there and I'm going to, oh before I do that I'm going to fill this card with something. So I'm just going to tap it and you know it's activated when you see the blue handles all the way around it. So I'm going to tap on the paintbrush here and image and replace and I'm going to go ahead and go to my images, my camera roll, and I'm going to fill it with this color that I got from my Palettes Pro. Now you can see there's this stuff in here and I don't need that. So in order to crop that out, I'm going to just double tap and move this slider over till that's cropped out and then tap done. And now I can move my little journaling shape over. And then let me put some photos in here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Basically, you just tap on the paintbrush, image, replace, and let's get a photo now. And it just filled that photo in perfectly. I don't even need to crop that. I could actually, if I wanted to, I can resize the photo. I can rotate it if I want to, but I like I like it just filled it just perfectly right there. And let's put another photo in here just for a little bit, a little bit more review. And let me get this one. And that one I actually do want to move move down. So I'm going to double tap and slide it down so I have more of her face, less of the cake, but more of Isla's cute face. 
Okay, let's put the fabric in here, and that's actually in my camera roll. And I'm going to go replace, and there's the fabric. And again, I'm going to have to crop out this band right here. And you see how quickly I was able to do this? And let's see, I'll just put, I'll put that red one, that red color on that big. And of course, I'll do some journaling here. And this has to be cropped for sure. Let's get that out. Select done. And then I've got one more square so you, or card. See how fast I've done this? And of course, there's going to be a lot more work. I'll do some journaling here. I'll add some other little stickers here. I'll probably do a speech bubble here and just little things like that. Let me, let's see what, I'll put a, just a solid color in here. Crop that. And so now you can see how easy and how quickly I did that. And I didn't disturb any of my master copies. And that is what is in the new iDesign. I'm very excited about it. I hope everybody else is. I know that several of my customers that have been using the the previous iDesign have already downloaded the new iDesign, and I'm getting some really great feedback. I hope you'll come to my website and check it out. It's digitallyspeaking.net. And also subscribe to this video because I have got some instructional videos coming down the pike here real soon showing you some really cool things that you can do with iDesign. And I think outside the box, way outside the box. So there's some really neat things that I'm going to show you that you can do with iDesign on your iPad. Until the next video, enjoy!